Welcome to another Arius Wave update. In this video, we're looking at Matic, which is a Polygon token. And I just want to talk about the current move, which I got into last night along with one of my members. Uh, we basically uh, noticed a pattern forming here. And the reason for that would be because of the overall correction here. It looks like we've had a three uh, A, B, sorry let me just get this right for a second things going everywhere an a a b and a c pattern which is already completed sorry i'm just gonna whack this in stay in drawing mode uh yeah so the the b wave bounce up to the highs there can only to me it only looks like uh, a b wave um and then down to the lows which was you know it's quite a drop it's to the previous area of wave four on the previous move um and it's a c wave right so out of all the current moves that are going on in the market um this c wave seems to be completed for some reason the way it looks um it can't really be anything else in my opinion um due to this B wave having made a new high back in December. So took a small position on this just to see what happens, just because I'm expecting a D wave to occur. And, you know, for it to head back, first of all, we need to see five waves up right now. Obviously there's been some news around Matic recently uh, with Disney uh, partnering up with Matic for, you know, to do with their metaverse. Excuse me for a sec. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. Just come back again. Right, so, uh, you know, on the news front, that's great. But to me, I looked at the pattern first. That's what made me look at look uh, to see if there's anything going on uh, news-wise. And I thought, well, this is interesting because we have what appears to be a complete five wave move where most cryptos are still kind of producing that five wave move or haven't even nowhere near completed that. Right. And also we've had a move down since the highest point has been about 90%. Like it's, it's close to 90%. It's like, that's pretty, that's a pretty decent correction already. Now, depending on how this D wave unfolds and where it terminates, uh, to me, it's probably just a matter of holding for the D wave, at least. Simply because we just don't know what can happen after that. But if this is a completed um, move there, I mean, you, you had your wave three, which is which had the, the weakest point on the RSI there. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's looking like that's a complete five wave move, especially because of the, you know, the inverse head and shoulders pattern there which you'd at least expect to go back up to that um well i've got a 1000 period moving average uh, if it breaks through that i mean we're looking for five waves as i said whether that five waves is uh unfolding the first five waves of a zigzag you know we just need to see um I've heard people talk about this move here not looking like a five wave move. However, if you pull apart the waves internally, it looks like a five wave move to me. Um, aside from that, yeah, everything everything else is checking out pretty good. So overnight, there's been uh, already, uh, you know, like 10% minimum gains, which is pretty cool. And but I can I expect this to continue further to the upside. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that there's one coin out there that's, or there, there might be a few more. Like I'm, I'm going through the top 20 at the moment, just picking out which ones look good uh, for this uh, current bear market. And sort of, you know, uh, Uniswap was another one that I came across, which looked pretty interesting as well. It looked like it had some upside potential. Um, but yeah, I'll probably save that for another video. And yeah, hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.